Two new explosive allegations about Republican lawmaker George Santos have come to light this week, and unsurprisingly, he's denying both of them, despite the overwhelming amount of evidence for both of these allegations. So the first one is almost comical, but on Wednesday, journalist Marissa Cabos broke the story that George Santos was formerly a drag queen who went by a different name, writing on Twitter, I just spoke by phone with Eula Rochard, a Brazilian drag queen who was friends with George Santos when he lived near Rio. She said everyone knew him as Anthony and never George or by his drag name, Katara, and confirms this photo is from a 2008 drag show at Ikarai Beach. Now, the photo is pretty blurry but it's undeniably him you can you can tell it's him but regardless he's denying this saying on twitter the most recent obsession from the media claiming that i am a drag queen or performed as a drag queen is categorically false the media continues to make outrageous claims about my life while i am working to deliver results i will not be distracted nor phased by this now i find it absolutely hilarious that he is vehemently denying these allegations because brother we've got you dead to rights i mean look at the photograph as keith edwards puts it girl because i mean look at this look at this this is without question the exact same person and to even deny this is utterly ridiculous and i get that he's a compulsive liar but come on, George, look at the picture. That's clearly you. I get that Republicans currently are on this moral crusade against drag queens, so you have to pretend as if you would never be associated with this sort of grooming culture. But look at the f***ing photograph. Come on. At least humor us and say, no, that's actually my identical twin sister, Katara, and not really me. That would be at least less of an insult to our intelligence but you're pissing on our legs and telling us it's raining at this point i mean it's it's so ridiculous now he is denying the other explosive allegation that came to light this week and this one really goes to show you how evil of a person he is and i don't use that word often but i think that we can attribute that word to uh to george santos after getting through this story he writes the reports that i would let a dog die is shocking and insane my work in animal advocacy was the labor of love and hard work over the past 24 hours i have received pictures of dogs i helped rescue throughout the years along with supportive messages these distractions won't stop me mm, sorry but a person who denies that a picture of them a clear picture of them isn't actually them isn't really the most reliable source. Now, for those of you who missed the story, this story is heartbreaking. It is deeply saddening. Patch reports, in May of 2016, Richard Ostoff was living in a tent in an abandoned chicken coop on the side of Route 9 in Howell, New Jersey, with his beloved service dog, Sapphire. A veteran charity gave the pit mix to Ostoff, a disabled veteran who was honorably discharged from the U.S. Navy in 2002, he told Patch. When Sapphire developed a life-threatening stomach tumor, Ostoff, now 47, learned the surgery would cost $3,000. A veterinary technician took Ostoff aside and told him, I know a guy who runs a pet charity who can help you, Ostoff recounted. His name was Anthony DeValder, and his pet charity was called Friends of Pets United, the vet tech told him. Now, I think that this story gives us some insight as to why George Santos is now going by George Santos and not Anthony DeVolder. It's because he scammed people under this game, uh, under this name. And this veteran is not the only individual, but nonetheless, this story is certainly the most egregious. So Ostoff shared the GoFundMe and you can see how large the tumor was for Sapphire. And they ended up raising $3,000 over the course of a couple of months for Sapphire surgery. But George Santos decided to take the money and split. In November of 2016, Ostoff disappointingly wrote on his Facebook, to everyone who helped me and Sapphire raise the money for her surgery, I'm sorry to say that we were scammed by Anthony DeVolder and Friends of Pets United through a series of bad veterinary contacts and subterfuge regarding payment. Sapphire has not received veterinary care and her growth is three to four times bigger than it was when the campaign was fulfilled. She is facing euthanasia within months. And as you can see from the text here, Santos showed no remorse when Ostoff confronted him after he finally responded. And Ostoff explained that Sapphire was going to die and that the money that was raised was for her. So it should go to her only to have Santos say, mm, nope. 
the money that was raised for Sapphire is going to go to a different animal. And we have no idea where that money went. We don't know if it went to a different animal because according to the New York Times, that charity that George Santos supposedly ran wasn't even registered as a nonprofit. So for all we know, he took that money and he spent it on himself. We have no idea what happened to that money. Now, I want to play a clip from CNN where Ostoff was interviewed because the story gets so much worse just when you hear how much Sapphire meant to him. She, she is that gone. dog saved my life at least two times. Um, when I first got out of the service, I was depressed. I was having nightmares. Um, bad, bad memories about some things that happened. Not war-related, but other things that the military does to you. Um, I started drinking too much. I was doing reckless stuff. My father even told me he thought I had a death wish at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and I probably did. I was very suicidal. I would start crying and for no reason. And uh, if I didn't have that little princess with me, I probably would have not been here to speak to you right now at least two times. I would think about her and I said, nobody else is going to be her daddy. It's, that's my dog. And I'd go and I'd cuddle her and I'd snuggle up with her and all the bad stuff went away. George Santos is a f***ing monster. A despicable, pathetic excuse for a human being. And now this terrible human being is in a position of power in Congress, being propped up by the Republican Party. He's getting a committee assignment. He shouldn't be the leader of anything, but yet he is leading the country. He is in a position of massive influence. And that's the type of character. A sociopath who has no remorse for the people he screwed over. He could have saved Sapphire's life, but she died. He used that sympathy to raise money for probably himself. It's just, it is morally reprehensible. He has no ethics or morals. He's just sick and twisted and a pathological liar. Despite all of the evidence, he's still denying this. And he's just one of the worst people in Congress. Not just in Congress, he's one of the worst people ever. Like, if we could find some way to quantify how unethical human beings are, he would be in the top, like, 0.1% of all of humanity. He's just sick. So, yeah, he's still denying it, and I'm sure that more explosive allegations that come out will be denied by him. But, as we've seen, he just is allergic to the truth, and he's going to deny everything. So... Yeah, despicable, pathetic person.